Welcome to Better View. In this video, I am going to talk about lumbosacral plexus in ox. Lumbosacral plexus is formed by the convergence of ventral rami of fourth, fifth, sixth lumbar nerves and first and second sacral spinal nerves. It has two parts: the cranially placed lumbar plexus and the caudally placed sacral plexus. The lumbar plexus positioned at the ventrolateral aspect of lumbar transfer processes of 4th, 5th and 6th vertebrae while the sacral plexus is placed below and lateral to the cranial aspect of wings of sacrum and together their nerves innervate muscles of skin muscles and skin of caudal lumbar region hip thigh and hind limb so here in this diagram i hope you can appreciate l4 L5 and L6 here. So L4, L5, L6, then S1 and S2. So these three, they form the lumbar plexus placed cranially, and these two, S1 and S2, form the sacral plexus placed caudally. Okay. And as you can see, the lumbar plexus is placed cranially. from these l4 l5 and l6 vertebrae here l4 l5 and l6 lumbar vertebrae while the s1 and s2 that form the sacral plexus are situated below and lateral to the wings of sacrum here okay now let us come to the nerves of lumbar plexus the first of which is lateral cutaneous femoral nerve it is mainly formed from the l4 spinal nerve but sometimes l3 and l5 also participate in its formation it supplies the psoas and iliacus muscle the second is the femoral nerve it is formed from l4 l5 and l6 and it is the largest branch of lumbar plexus it detaches internal saphenous nerve above the pelvic rim passes down through the femoral canal and emerges between sartorius and gracilis muscles and distributes fascia and skin at the medial aspect of stifle joint it also supplies the thigh muscles the last and the most important here is the obturator nerve it also originates from l4 l5 and l6 nerves and it reaches the obturator foramen and supplies obturator internus muscle then passes through the anterior of the obturator foramen and supplies muscles of the medial aspect of thigh so in this diagram you can see this is the lateral cutaneous nerve this big one right here is the femoral nerve and here it is the obturator nerve and i hope you can appreciate this obturator foramen it right here And it is passing anterior through the obturator foramen. Okay, so this is all about the lumbar plexus. Now let us come to the sacral plexus. So just like lumbar plexus, sacral plexus also has three nerves. First of which is cranial gluteal, which is formed from the L6 and S1 spinal nerves. It supplies the middle and deep gluteus muscle and tensor fascia lata. then caudal gluteus muscle which is placed as its name suggests caudally it is formed from s1 and s2 and supplies the gluteus biceps femoris semi tendinosus muscles and the skin surrounding them and the last is the sciatic or ischiatic nerve which is formed from l6 s1 and s2 and it is the largest nerve in the entire body this point is very very important okay so in this diagram you can see this very small caudal gluteal nerve and this very big sciatic nerve okay so these peroneal and tibial are all the branches of sciatic nerve so now we'll see sciatic nerve in little bit more detail so first we have already seen that it is formed from l6 s1 and s2 then it passes through the greater sciatic foramen 
and then passes between the Trochanter Major and Tuba Sky and runs along Gamelus and Quadratus Femoris muscles. Then it enters the muscular canal of semitendinosus and Vices Femoris laterally and adductor and semimembranosus muscle majorly and then it dips between the two heads of gastrocnemius and continues as the tibial nerve. Now along this path it gives off some branches namely thin muscular nerve which supply the obturator internus muscle, small muscular nerve which supply gamelus and quadratus femoris muscle, thick muscular nerve which supply biceps femoris, semitendinosus and semimembranosus and caudal cutaneous which is also called the external saphenous nerve and it supplies to the skin and lateral aspect of tarsal and metatarsal area. And the last and the biggest and the most important is peroneal nerve also called the external popliteal nerve which originate from the sciatic nerve at the middle of thigh and descends along the lateral aspect of gastrocnemius and divides into superficial and deep branches at the level of origin of extensor muscles. Okay. So peroneal nerve has two branches again, superficial and deep. And the superficial branch or the superficial trunk of the peroneal nerve will lead to anterior ab lateral abexal digital nerve, anterior medial abexal digital nerve. And the deep branch or the deep trunk will give posterior common axial digital and superficial and deep. They join together and form the anterior common digital anterior common axial digital nerve okay so these are the nerves of the digits so superficial will give anterior lateral abaxial digital anterior medial abaxial digital together with deep it will form anterior common axial digital and the deep trunk will give posterior common axial digital okay so these are the branches and branches of the peroneal nerve so right here you can see this is the peroneal nerve and here it is giving these branches okay so one two three now let us come to the tibial nerve so again tibial nerve is just a continuation of sciatic nerve when it passes between the two heads of gastrocnemius okay so the continuation is called the tibial nerve the tibial nerve descends behind superficial distal flexor muscle and gastrocnemius muscle and becomes superficial then it passes along the achilles tendon and divide at the level of hog joint into two branches namely the medial and the lateral branch the medial branch will pass between the tendons and suspensory ligament and reach the fetlock joint and there it, it will divide into abaxial and axial branches. The abaxial branch will form the posterior medial abaxial distal nerve and the axial, uh, axial branch will join with the deep branch of peroneal nerve as we have discussed earlier and will form posterior common axial distal nerve. Okay, The lateral branch of the tibial nerve will continue forward and form the posterior lateral abaxial distal okay so what are the end branches of tibial nerve posterior medial abaxial distal from the abaxial branch of the medial trunk posterior common axial distal from the axial branch of the medial trunk and posterior lateral abaxial distal which is a continuation of the lateral trunk okay so this is it for the tibial nerve and lumbosacral plexus as the whole. Okay, so we'll have a revision. So today we discussed lumbosacral plexus and it is formed by L4, L5, L6, S1 and S2. Okay, these three form the lumbar part of the lumbosacral plexus and these two form the sacral part. Now L4 will give lateral cutaneous but sometimes L3 and L5 also contribute in its formation. Then L4, L5 and L6 together will give two nerves. First of which is femoral and then obturator. Then L6 and S1 
will give uh, cranial gluteal the first is cranial gluteal then l6 s1 and s2 will give two branches caudal gluteal and sciatic okay so lumbosacral plexus in total has six nerves three of which comes from the lumbar part and three comes from the sacral part then as i said we have to see sciatic nerve in detail so sciatic nerve again has a lot of branches the final continuation is the tbl one and in its way it will give off some branches thin muscular small muscular thick muscular caudal cutaneous and peroneal branch then tibial and peroneal again will divide peroneal will have superficial and deep the superficial will give anterior lateral abaxial distal branch anterior medial abaxial distal branch together with deep it will give anterior common axial distal branch and distal uh, sorry the deep trunk together with the tibial nerve will form posterior common axial distal branch okay the tibial nerve will have two trunks as well medial and lateral the lateral one will continue as the posterior lateral abaxial distal branch while the medial trunk will further divide into axial and abaxial the axial branch will give posterior common axial distal together with the deep trunk of the peroneal nerve while the abaxial branch of the medial trunk will give posterior medial abaxial distal nerve so this is it for the lumbosacral plexus i hope you like this video and found it useful if so then please like this video comment down below and share this video with your friends thank you